Welcome to Devs React to the Forgotten City. I'm the lead developer, Nick Pierce. I was the writer, producer, director, and designer. And with me, there is... Hi, I'm Alex. I was the programmer. I did a lot of the animations and making sure everything works correctly. And I'm John, and I did... I was the lead artist and did most of the art. All right, so I think it's going pretty much as expected. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what shortcuts this fellow takes. The first minute and a half is probably going to be pretty standard because there's not much you can do, but I'm, I, there's a possibility I'm going to be surprised here. So this guy's chosen the soldier class, meaning he's got a gun, and I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to do with that gun. It is pretty fast. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't choose the um, the fugitive class, which is considerably faster than the others, because that that's a that's speedrunner tech right there. almost like we put it in for them. <laughs> mm. I'm pretty stoked he hasn't found any holes in the geo yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, any holes found is coming. a feature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <Awesome>. Galerius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's got the zip line from Galerius. Good on him. That's clever. Okay, so yeah, I thought for sure he was just going to run to him. The I shortcut see, yeah, to kill Galerius is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that was clever. He's going to probably pick one of my favorite uh, dialogue. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, he, the, the other one was. Uh, I regret nothing. Is, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that was uh well, that's super quick. Well played. One way to find out. If I'm not back in an right, he's got fugitive for this about, one. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, we're just resuming from a minute and a half in so that the audience doesn't have to watch the first chunk again. So he's going for ending two this time. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't do what? Oh! <laughs> oh, the, the mode. oh, that's that's brilliant. Tricky. <laughs> I was just I was thinking, is he going to kill himself? What? What? How is this a speed run? And then, wow, yeah, good one. Yeah, I had thought I squashed that, so he's, I mustn't have done as good a job as I had thought. <laughs> <laughs> Again, feature not a bug. Glad oh, everyone's finding all that. these hidden features. What? <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> uh, how much time did? <laughs> oh god, it's amazing that people have time to figure this sort of stuff out. This is this is impressive. Straight to Navia. Don't need to uh, refreeze anybody. Just completely skip them all. So the, the, so he climbed on an invisible barrier, and we put that barrier there just to stop people from jumping to their death, but we, we tried to make it high enough that they could never go over it. Um, but clearly we didn't make it high enough because he was able to get on top of it somehow. Yeah, it's definitely a, a real balancing act because we wanted people to feel like they could explore, but also you didn't want them to jump out of areas you didn't want them to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm sort of pro exploration, but we did you know find what? in early testing that a bunch of people were just dying um, accidentally, and that's just not fun. So we tried to stop that. Yeah. 
Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Oh, I love this moment. Sentius getting what's coming to him. He monologues for a while to give her enough time to get behind him. <laughs> Still funny. I remember us needing to get a few takes for that scream. Mm. Yeah, that palace exploit and the jumping exploit are both very clever. What do you reckon? Should we fix them up or leave them in for fun? Add damage to every time you jump yeah. out. <laughs> Add in a physics thing so it punts you into the chasm anyway. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I'm still waiting for him to just walk through an entire wall or something. Mm hmm. Well done. Only one way to... if I'm not back in now, Ending for any percent. Here we go. <laughs> Man, if he doesn't at least once visit the toilets through this entire thing, <laughs> it'd be pretty heartbroken. Yeah. Put a lot of effort into that. Oh, what's he running along that for? Maybe he's just showing off. Parkour. Yeah, it just looks cool. Yeah. Hardcore parkour. Oh, what's going on? Is that that oh, tree? I remember. Oh, uh, no. He didn't. Fixing this. Oh, <laughs> uh, we, we thought we fixed that. <laughs> no. oh. Man, what I wonder how someone again? found that if they like just fell into it by accident. Like it's just mm. who would have thought to to look there? <laughs> I mean that's my bad. Should have made the trigger smaller. This is definitely my favorite environment. Yeah, so he's not going to be able to uh, persuade Pluto of anything because he doesn't know enough about the game well to do it. He's just going to have to do the old. Uh, the the he's gonna have to get the psycho achievement. Oh, maybe maybe he will do it. Oh, I think he's oh, I think he's figured it out. Question path. Wow, he's done it. Yeah, that muscle memory, crazy. Hmm. Just a quick shout out to the music. I really mm. love that sound when you're going through the portal. It's very cool. Yeah, I love that. Not that the player, any viewers watching aren't really getting much of it because it's just flying through. <laughs> very, very cool soundtrack. Shout out to Mikey Allen for putting that together. He did an awesome job. I love the fact that the, the character name in this run is a goatee or game of the year. Uh, if if his if the speedrunner is implying that this is his goatee, then thank you very much.
it's going to feel a little bit sad to speed around the touching epilogue, but uh, <laughs> that's what we're here for. Yeah, it's just going to leg it. Good evening. Didn't even look up at the Easter egg. <laughs> I think that only one person has noticed the Easter egg so far, but it's a good one. Sneaky, sneaky little, little hint, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, when you walk through the archway, look up through through the middle of it to the sky, and there's something interesting to to check out there. Wow, well played, speedrunner. That was uh, that was seriously impressive. Oh, he's going back for ending. Oh, he's actually going to do the all parks ending. Get to see more of the game. I'm excited. Mm. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting because this is the sort of meat and potatoes of the game that he's going to be doing in this ending. So, I've, I have a feeling this is from a slightly older build of the game, but that's fine because they were they were good fun to fix some of these ones. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is second more. favorite area of the slums. Nice and dank. Mm. Mm. You actually get lost in that. Even even having been through there a lot of times, I still get lost in that area, which is kind of the point. It's meant to feel sort of labyrinthine. And oh, it, man. Um, Jumped over. Ah, I thought we stopped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put... Yeah. Yeah, I think you put a million blockers there. What? <laughs> what? What is he doing? <laughs> oh, wow. This is fresh. Hey, look, it's outside. He's yeah, escaped. <laughs> All these features. Yeah, yeah, so many features. Oh, wow. Combo. Oh, what's he, can he do it? It's going to take him a few goes. Wow. Tricky brick. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's clever. Well played, sir. I mean, maybe you won't see much of the, the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see the, the behind the scenes is and the... Uh... How is he going to get past the conversation with the philosopher? Because theoretically, you're not supposed to be able to pass the conversation with the philosopher until you've figured out the twist in the bars. And he hasn't done that yet. So I guess he must have figured out an exploit there as well. It's just going to go... <laughs> <laughs> go straight yeah. through the wall. Uh, so these are all the holes I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much time did That's it take hilarious. to find all this stuff? It's incredible. Just the it's flattering that he was willing to spend so much time in the game to that he found these. It's uh yeah, straight past the spooky reveal. <laughs> Lots of clicking. You are too late. It is done. It's not going to be a problem for this guy. Remember where there used to be a bug with him and he dropped the tablet, but he would still be holding the tablet and it was oversized for some reason. It's like this <laughs> yeah. hilarious comical thing. When I was uh, scripting that, there was a few times he had dropped it and it had just hit the deck in front of him and you could just walk up to him and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty ineffectual. Oh, yep. Too easy. Time to lay boulder hits yeah. in the background. Oh, <laughs> just... no, no collision at all on that ball. <laughs> How embarrassing for us. <laughs> I mean, as a aside to this, we really worked hard to make sure the player didn't have to backtrack. I mean, it doesn't really matter in this case, but you know, like in that sequence there, we 
made sure it wrapped around and you didn't have to just boringly mm. traverse the same areas again and again. So, But this is a much quicker way. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just going to trigger the uh, the exit like while he was still out of world. <laughs> <laughs> It's just crazy because it. Oh, toilets! Down the toilets! Ah, he toilet. just ran past them, John. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Need some DLC to put a fifth plaque in there. <laughs> but it's so confusing running out of bounds. Like it, it's pretty awesome to see that he can mm. keep track of just where he's going. Yeah, yeah. Ah, he's getting around the trigger box. There's an invisible trigger box there and which triggers the conversation with Octavia. He's just leapt over it. That's smart. It's cool saying that pro. there's actually two different sort of exploits for that, that area. It's like mm. walk through the wall and trigger yeah. it outside or you could just skip the conversation. the white hallway yeah so with this environment we actually tried to put all the uh civilizations building types into this environment mm -hmm. um so you can see like the uh, ziggurat pyramid, pyramid shapes and ziggurats and uh the yeah, roman the obelisk and, shapes and everything yeah. yeah yeah and we tried to we made like a a fake script that runs on the ground too to uh sort of mimic cuneiform so like it was a really cool area to sort of build and imagine Yeah, mental. Very cool. Well, that's uh, all, all of that's pretty impressive. Oh, I think what I like about this is just that he's sort of he's found a way to to sort of create a, a sort of a mini game on its own inside the game. Like there's the game as we intended it. And then these speedrunners have just found a way, another way to have fun with it um, that we didn't really expect or anticipate. But that's, um, yeah, I'm more impressed than I am embarrassed by the, <laughs> all the holes in our geo. Yeah, I think it's um, what makes it even more fun and interesting to watch is you know, this game isn't really based around speed. So finding all mm. this crazy speed and shortcuts is, yeah, it's very cool to see. One year later. <laughs> oh, hello. there he is. Hey. Still not interested in talking. <laughs> so that Easter egg we were talking about before is right above you right now. You can check. I wonder what the quickest would like. be if you if you did everything and spoke to everyone. Mm. It's probably not as interesting to watch. <laughs> See the goose. It's a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an Easter egg, I guess. And then there's two well characters done. in that shot that I've seen everyone ask about. Mm. But, uh, yeah, people want to know where, where Navia is. But yeah, she's down there if you look closely enough. Well, that looks like the end of it. So um, thank you so much for watching this uh, Devs React to the speedrun of the Forgotten City. Um, if you're interested in playing the game and haven't already, you can find it on uh, Steam, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5, Switch. Uh, and uh, yeah, our Twitter handle is at Modern Storyteller, M-O-D-N-S-T-O-R-Y-T-E-R-R-E-R. -R -R -E -R. Thanks heaps for watching.